In 2014 alone, $592 billion was spent on advertising alone worldwide. Digital advertising spending is projected to grow by 12% in the next five years alone. Before the whole world turns into a freemium version of Spotify, where everywhere we turn we see targeted ads based on our digital footprint and demographic surrounding us, and Big Brother being created by business analytic tools, there are only really three segments which current advertisers can inspect in order to capitalize on this future. These three trends have and will continue to disrupt the advertising industry. First, we look at advancements in physical analytics. An example would be to give analytics capabilities to an ad space at a bus stop through tools such as cameras to run facial recognition algorithms. Second, we look at advancements in how ads and ad spaces are distributed and sold. There's a clear trend towards automation in this part of the industry, much like what happened with automation in the stock market trading floors from 2000 to 2013. Finally, we'll look at artificial intelligence content creation tools, which allow content creators to outsource the creative parts of content creation to, you guessed it, artificial intelligence. So firstly, let's look at what video analytics is. With the increase in video surveillance, video quality, and computer technology in the last couple of decades, companies have developed programs that can analyze the images from videos. In order to monitor video feeds simultaneously, computer programs from the research area known as computer vision have been developed to help in the detection of targeted events. These programs run complex mathematical formulas known as algorithms in order to find when and where a targeted event occurs. This process is known as video analytics. From movements and events, programs can extract information such as the number of people who have entered a store simply from a video. The system can automatically detect a face from either surveillance footage or a regular photo and search for it. The search results are displayed immediately, showing thumbnail images of potential candidates. Think of all the possibilities physical analytics can have on targeted advertising. Each person has a very unique experience with ad spaces, whether they're at the bus stop, or on their phone, or simply just roaming through a store. In advertising, being able to send an advertisement to exactly the intended audience would potentially increase the company's exposure and revenues. Facial recognition technology is working its way into everyday life without you even noticing. There's a wide array of uses for the up-and-coming technology, but the jury is still out on whether or not this innovation goes too far. If video analytics can extend to determining the demographics of people entering a store, businesses can use this data to better understand their customers. In large public areas, Analytics may be able to evaluate and display the advertisements that better reflect the interests of the majority. In order to understand how ad space will be sold in a future where all ad spaces will become capable of providing targeted ads in real time, we take a look at how the industry is sprinting towards automation. We start off with the average Joe, age 25 to 54 male. He's in the market for a car in Colorado, let's say. Joe visits a website page or an app that includes real-time bidding technology. An ad exchange acts as the middleman between publishers, which are people with space for ads on their website, and advertisers who want to advertise. Publishers give information about Joe, for example, to the exchange and advertisers place bids based on the value of that impression as determined by the advertiser's parameters. The bidding process ensures that each impression is sold with the maximum price as dictated by the real-time market demand. Once the bidding is complete, the winner is chosen and the ad is served on the publisher's website. Lastly, perhaps the most exciting set of trends comes from the AI machines creating creative content and understanding language, like IBM's Watson computer for example. Artificial intelligence primarily functions in two ways. Either it utilizes historical data and optimizes decisions based on that, 
or it comes equipped with deep learning algorithms which allow your AI to learn on the go as you feed it more data and as it runs more analysis. We are at a turning point where computers are becoming able to take on endeavors such as website creation and maintenance. It's called the grid. No templates, no coding, no walled gardens. Just tell the grid what you want and it uses artificial intelligence to build a tailor-made home for your content. Written content creation. Designing alternatives to a designer's artwork. All being produced with high quality and in high quantities. Artificial intelligence is about building machines or engines that are general purpose problem solvers. They can be applied to medical imaging, they can be applied to art, they can be applied to weapon systems, they can be applied to everything. So how does an advertising company prepare for these three major changes? From our research, we've concluded the following suggestions as how to become a strong leader in the advertising industry. In order to understand your customers better, outside of digital devices, investing in physical analytic devices should be a priority. It is important a dedicated and experienced team run the process of analyzing data being picked up as it will be a very insightful way to learn from customers more passively. One concern companies should also focus on is creating a policy as to how to deal with privacy concerns of their customers. In order to maximize efficiency and ad space being utilized, companies are heavily encouraged and are moving towards an electronic trading of ad spaces versus a traditional approach. This will require some training, potential layoffs and infrastructure expenses to implement. Finally, companies are encouraged to adopt AI technologies in order to increase productivity and efficiency and as a way to expedite the process of creating content. It is important a specialized team deal with this, as one who needs to be adequate in the company's culture and technologically savvy. We hope you've enjoyed learning about what the future of advertising has in store for you. Oh, and remember, Big Brother is watching you now more than ever.